So today we added 10 names, including President Assad, to the list of those who are subject to sanctions in Syria. The names will be published for you tomorrow. The message we're sending is very clear, to stop the violence, to respect human rights and to embrace the genuine and concrete reforms that people are asking for, to change course and to respond to the needs and demands of the people. On Iran, we've added a number of individuals and companies to the sanctions list, part of our ongoing continuing to look and ensure that our sanctions are being properly observed. And if you're interested, from Benghazi. President Saleh knows the commitment that he has made. Those of us who've spoken with him know that he knows the commitment he has made. And he should transfer power now and he should sign the agreement. So we'll be continuing to review our policies towards Yemen and prepare our responses to what's been happening there. It is more than ever the moment for negotiations to begin. And I very much welcome what President Obama said in his speech last week. I'm also concerned about the announcements on new settlement, the 1,550 housing units in East Jerusalem. Uh, the EU, as you know, considers all settlement activities to be illegal under international law. Has Ministers welcomed the cancellation of the referendum in Republika Srpska following my visit uh, there two weeks ago, it says here. I'm not even sure when it was, but very recent, ten days ago. We also discussed developments in the South Caucasus and we exchanged views on the situation in Nagorno-Karabakh with <laughs> Armenia and Azerbaijan and talked about Georgia. We are very worried about the fatal incidents in Georgia last week and in Nagorno-Karabakh over the weekend.